Hi guys and welcome to part 4 of my Unity tutorial. This time we're gonna create very basic player movement and to do so we must make our first script. So let's begin. In order to get our character moving by using our keyboard buttons we must firstly assign a new component to our player. So we go to add component, new script, a C sharp script and we'll name it player movement and we're gonna open up open it up in monodevelop monodevelop is the integrated development environment of uh, unity and basically it's going to help you to write your code so the first thing that's important to note uh, is that the name of the class is it must be exactly the same as the name of your script so if we change this to player movement one it's not the same so it's not going to work and uh, <laughs> you can try it out uh, for yourself <laughs> so um, let's delete some unnecessary stuff and uh, let's begin writing our code but um, before I start I expect you to already have taken a look at the beginner scripting modules of on the unity 3d site to at least uh, understand what I'm doing so let's first make a public float variable uh, and call it speed and the reason that we make it public is so we can change it in the inspector and we don't have to constantly change the code so let's first write the condition if um, input dot get uh, key key code d so if we um, if we use d we want to go to the left and uh, right and the first way I'm going to show you is by using transform dot translate dot translate and we put in a factor two dot right times the speed so we can change the speed outside of the script and um, this will change it change the position of the player to another position based on the factor three or factor two two value you put in as a parameter so let's try it out I'm gonna save this start the game and he's not moving because this is still zero so let's make it 1.2 and he's moving it's a bit fast so let's make it 0.1 but yeah it's good um, let's go back to the script so um, let's put these here so that the code will not read this again and let's move on to our second way the second way I'm going to show you is by changing transform position directly so we write transform position is uh, factor 2 dot right times the speed let's try this out and there is an error mm. all ah, right um, because player transform dot position has a x value a i value and a z value um, factor 2 must become a factor 3 because these two values must be the ex same exact same type so if we save it now and try it out it's working okay uh, now these two uh, ways change the position of our player but there are also other ways for example by assigning a rigid body to the player 
and adding a force to it. So first, let's assign a rigid body 2D to our player. And let's reference in the script to it by using rigid body 2D dot add force and we will add a factor 2 dot right you can do times the speed but I don't think it's necessary here and let's try this out let's save and he falls because um, the gravity skill is one and he will automatically um, give our player a, a gravity force so let's make this zero and try it out again and now it's working but he's constantly accelerating but that's okay for now let's move on to the to the final way I'm going uh, the final way of uh, moving your player and um, that is by changing the velocity of the rigid body so we type in rigid body 2d because we're going to change its velocity velocity and we're going to um, we're going to make it all factor 2 dot right this should do it yeah there he goes but if we leave our hand from the button he will continue to move um, now it's easy to stop it from constantly going to the right but because we're not going to use uh, a rigid body uh, now uh, right now um, I'm not going to show you yet how to do that so for now let's delete all the other ways we're gonna use the transform translate function and um, we, but we also want our player to move up when we use W and move left and right so let's uh, copy this part of the code and make four copies of it and let's make this A let's make this W and let's make this S and we're gonna change right to left because we want to go we want our player to go to the left when we uh, use the A button and let's oh it's actually not it doesn't have a left so let's use the negative of factor two point rights that must be the same as going to the left and let's make this up and down no down doesn't exist so let's make this the negative of factor two up let's save uh, save our project and our scene and let's try it out and our player moves and there we go we got our simple player movement and that's it for now thanks for watching guys and have a nice day